Hey girls, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Carrie. I have a little bit of a different video today as far as the structure of it, I guess I would say. So first of all, I'm going to share two black loafers with you. It's not really an unboxing because they're both already opened and if you watched my last Abercrombie video, you already saw one pair. But I want to style black loafers with you because they're very trendy. They're really in right now and I haven't worn any type of loafer since I was a teen. So it's been a couple decades. <laughs> So what I wanted to do is first I'm going to show you the two pairs of black loafers that I have and we'll talk about the sizing. I haven't worn either of them yet obviously and then we're going to style them but we're going to style them together. So a lot of times when I do style videos I already have an idea. Uh, I already have kind of put together like outfit formulas and then I share the outfits with you but this is going to be like we're going to style together so we might find some combos that we don't like um, but I'm hoping that we're going to find some combos that we do like so the title might say how many ways to style because again right now I don't know I'm hoping we can find like at least five ways to style these shoes and in doing this video, it also helps me know that they're a purchase I should keep because if I'm having a hard time styling these shoes with clothes in my closet, then I probably shouldn't have them in my closet. And then I'm also going to be using something a little bit different today. My husband actually bought me this for Christmas, but it will actually turn my camera which is kind of cool though now it's tilted but then that way if I like go to grab an item from my thing here we can kind of do that together which is interesting because here it's straight and there it's really not so I might have to play around with that but if you like styling videos if you like trends give this video a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you haven't and let me get the shoes. As I said, I have two pairs of black loafers for you, a little bit different, um, but I'm thinking that for the outfits, I will try to make sure both shoes are used. That way you might see which pair you like better. I don't want to say style because they're the same. They just have a little bit of a different aesthetic and I am not sure if I'm going to keep both either. This pair for sure is too big so I'm definitely not keeping them but I feel like by the end of this video I should know if I want to get these in my size or just keep the other pair that is my size. So first these are the Abercrombie loafers and as you can see there's no other coloring. They're just all out black which can be good or bad depending on which look you want. They're a very classic just penny loafer, right? They've got a good heel and as I was saying, I got these in eight and a half, but they're too big, so I need to get them in eight. So if I decide that I do indeed want these over the other pair or in addition, although I think having two pairs could be ridiculous, um, then I will try them in an eight. Okay, and then the other pair, which I did pick up at Nordstrom, but you can also get these from the Sam Edelman website, are these loafers. And you can see these are a little bit shinier. These have a brown detail just to give the shoe more depth and obviously more color. And then these also have a gold detail in the front, and I really liked that. I had tried on another pair by Sam Edelman where the detail was gold and silver. I will go ahead and link those for you as well in case you're interested in that. I just didn't want the silver detail at all. They also didn't have the brown detail. So just different options. And then these, I believe at Nordstrom I only saw them in like a tan option, but when I looked online, I want to say there were like 10 different color options. So maybe you want to check those out as well. So these I did size down to an eight. I'm usually an eight and a half. And it's seeming more and more lately with shoes that I have to size down to an eight. I do tend to have more of a narrow foot. So if you have a wider foot, you may want to stick with your true size. It's going to be hard for me to know. I'm trying to think, yeah, no, my mom did not try these on. Sometimes because she has a wider foot, I use her as a reference. But 
I can't see that I would be getting rid of these. Basically, I'm just going to have to see if I want the plain black ones also, which again, I don't really see the point. However, these are, I'm going to let you see side by side. Just so you can see the difference, like these are much shinier, so we might find that we don't want the shine for certain outfits. Um, Size-wise, I mean, they're both pretty big. These are a little bit chunkier, but they're also a half size bigger. When we look at the toe box, these are also wider, so if you have wide feet, these might be better for you. Um, but in price-wise, these are 100 flat out 100 from Abercrombie, and they don't seem to be a part of any sale, because when I bought them, I got 15% off everything else, but the shoes weren't included. Um, and then these are 150 so these do cost more. However, again, there's just more going on with the shoe. Okay, let's get styling. What I did was I actually had already put on some base layers that I thought would be a good start. And right now I have on one of each shoe. So I've got the Sam Metalman on the left and the um, Abercrombie one on the right. Now I wanna say with the Sam Edelman ones, these are pretty snug with my sizing down the half. I feel like I wouldn't wanna put a sock on with them. I could do like a, a, a tight or like a stocking and it would be fine, but I don't think a sock would fit. So if you're wanting to do like the sock and loafer trend, then you're not gonna to wanna to size down. That's, I'm, I'm not gonna be showing any of that I don't even have any of those higher white socks. Those are, again, something I haven't worn since middle school. And, you know, never say never, but right now I'm just going to be styling them bare. Okay? So with that being said, just take that into consideration. All right. So I put on one of each. I have a black bodysuit. You can't go wrong with a black bodysuit. I figured we'll start simple. And then these are a pair of 80s mom jeans from Abercrombie. And again, I'll have everything linked below. I always link everything below for you girls. If something I'm wearing is no longer in stock, then I will link something similar. I'm pretty sure this bodysuit is gone, but I will link something similar for you. Now, what I want to do, I'm gonna try this little nifty thing. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is really funny. Okay, so it turns well, but it can't adjust for the tilt, right? All right, that's okay. What I wanted to do was try a houndstooth blazer and see how this looks. <laughs> this is really funny. I'm sorry, girls. Just like tilt your head a little bit. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think, let's just go back to normal here. Well, oh, wow, okay. This is really, oh boy. Yeah. Let's, okay. We're just gonna manually pop this back, sorry. Gotta try things out. I probably should try them out before I'm filming, but that's just really not my nature. I just kinda go for it. Um, okay. So here is the outfit. I'm not obsessed with it, but I don't hate it. I also think there could be modifications as far as like different jeans. I really like the houndstooth. I really like the houndstooth. Um, I, you know, this is horrible. This is still driving me nuts. I, I have this houndstooth. Obviously it's a crop blazer and I have two other cropped blazers and I feel like I'm not feeling cropped blazers as much. And it's so frustrating because I feel like when things come into style, random hair tie, I feel like when things come into style and I like them and I buy them, it's like I don't know if I'm gonna get tired of something or not like it. And regardless of the trends, I'm not even talking about what trends say. I know like boxy blazers are more in style, plaid blazers, whatever. But I just feel like I've been coming into my style. Like ever since I started this channel and just started Rose Gold Fashion Blog in general, um, I've just really found my own style. And helping girls, I've found my own, which has just been great. And I'm sorry, I know I'm going into a tangent. If you're new here, I do this. Um, so you can always fast forward if you just don't want to hear me talk. But I'm just going to be honest. Uh, so it's like I put this on and I'm like, okay. I just, 
I don't know. I'm not super, super crazy about it. But then I think, I think we're gonna change the jeans. Yeah, I'm gonna change the jeans. Hold on. All right, girls, I switched the jeans and I like this so much better. All right, let me explain. These are mom jeans and the last pair was mom jeans. But the last pair, they were the 80s mom jeans, so they're baggier fit. I was actually wearing those in a size 25 and I'm wearing these in a size 26. So even though I have to size down in those, they're baggier because that's how they're supposed to fit. Versus these are just regular mom jeans. I mean, they're high rise mom jeans. They're both from Abercrombie. But see how, because they're not as baggy, I feel like they just, it just looks better to me. I still wanted to keep the distressed look. Obviously jeans that aren't distressed would look fine, but I feel like everything is so prim and proper with the blazer and just the smooth plain bodysuit and obviously the loafers that I felt like doing distressed jeans took away a little, took away some preppiness from the outfit, which is what I wanted. And then I couldn't decide. I don't feel like one loafer looks better. So I just left on one of each and I think we can call this outfit number one. All right, the second look I got on the first try. I am going to say it is similar, but that's okay. <laughs> I am still doing blazer and jeans and black bodysuit, but I'm just giving you another idea of how to do it. I'm sorry, this camera just keeps driving me nuts today. Okay. Kept on the same black bodysuit and my jeans, I went for just the clean line jeans, no distressing. These are ultra high rise ankle straight jeans from Abercrombie. Um, and I think we're noticing the trend that I'm doing like cut off jeans, not cut off, but like shorter jeans, right? Mom jeans tend to hit shorter. These are obviously ankle straight jeans. So I feel like when we wear a jean like this, you get to, to see the whole shoe, right? I did decide to go with just the Sam Edelman ones for this outfit. And then what really makes the outfit is this blazer. I hate even calling this a blazer because it's not, um, it's a blazer in the sense that it looks like a blazer, but it's not thick like a blazer. To me, it's a very lightweight jacket. This is the perfect jacket for Florida or for someone who lives in a warmer climate. I feel like I'm gonna be able to style this so many different ways. I just bought this at Anthropology. I feel like it's gonna go out of style so fast. So if you're interested in this, scoop it up. I'm wearing a small and it's very oversized. I mean, I probably could have done an extra small. They didn't have one in the store. Um, it does button there, although I doubt it would ever button it. And then I could, there's pockets right here that could unstitch. But I just love, love this. I feel like it'd be so cute over like an all black outfit, over a black dress. I know we're supposed to be talking about the blazers, but, or about the shoes, but I could not style these shoes without throwing this blazer in. But I feel like this is such a great look. Obviously the Abercrombie ones would be fine, but I felt like this outfit had a little bit more of a luxe look to it. And with that, I wanted the shiny shoes with the gold detail. And then I feel like you would have to finish this outfit off with a handbag. It doesn't have to be a luxury handbag, but how great does this YSL bag look with this outfit, right? So cute. My favorite bags are always the ones that you can wear either crossbody or doubled up. All right, girls, for this next outfit, the jeans are off. We have moved on to leather. So this is a vegan leather skirt from Abercrombie. I highly recommend it. it. Has shorts underneath, can't go wrong. I'm loving that Abercrombie did all these skirts this year. And leather is, I mean, leather's always in style, right? But I wanted to do leather. Now, you see a lot of like white button down shirts and I have a couple, but I don't really wear white button down shirts out. I wear them as like beach cover ups. So for me to style the classic, like you're, when you look at inspo pictures, what I'm getting at uh, is that you'll see a lot of white button down shirts with like the black leather or 
whatever. My point is I wanted to do something different. So this is like a sweater vest. This is from Abercrombie. I know it's long gone, but I will find something similar for you girls because this is so cute and in for fall too. I love this because I can really wear this all year round. It's the perfect like cropped length. So you can't really do any tucking in or anything like that. Now, sometimes when I do black and white outfits, I feel like it can look very, um, like a waiter. Like if you go to a, a fine dining restaurant and this is just something I'm, I, it might not even be true anymore, but I feel like you think of like the black pants and the white button down shirt, um, is like, you know, if you went to somewhere nice and they all have to kind of wear that uniform and then like maybe the black tie. So sometimes when I put on black and white, it's like I don't want to kind of have that look. But I feel like because we've got leather and then we've got like this knit material, like working with the different materials won't give us that look. I did choose the Sam Edelman ones. I think I'm gonna like these more girls. Um, yes, they cost more, but I think they're worth it. I love the shine. I love having the hardware detail. Uh, there's just, I just feel like they're gonna look better with outfits. Now, we are gonna do a layer and I'm thinking gray. And I have, I haven't worn this yet. Cause again, Florida, it's like very minimal that I can wear this stuff quite yet, but I bought this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's by Topshop. I did get it in a US 2, which is not what I would usually get for outerwear, but the 4 was massive. But I really want to see how this looks with the outfits. I feel like gray is the perfect color to go with the black and white. The tag is in the way. I don't ever take tags off until I wear stuff, girl. So don't think just because you see the tag, it doesn't mean I'm not keeping it. it. Just helps me keep track of things that I haven't worn. Okay. I'm not sure. I definitely like the color combo together. I don't mind that the jacket's longer than the skirt. I actually really think that is such a cute look. Now, mind you, if you have some black leather shorts, which I do, mine are just packed away, um, but that would also be really cute. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, hmm, I have a mirror right here, so that's why I'm looking. I feel like maybe, I don't know if it's too much. Like, I feel like with the sweater vest, I wanna call it underneath, it might be a little bit too much with the jacket. So I'm gonna actually switch out the top and we'll see if we like it better. Okay, don't be annoyed with me, but when I went and looked at the outfit closer in the mirror, I like it. I do. I think it's fine. I think the materials are completely fine. However, if you don't like it and you're thinking, no, Carrie, like I don't like the buttons with the jacket, whatever, then just go ahead and put on, either put on your classic white button down, do it if it's your style, or just put on a white bodysuit. Like, think of the black bodysuit I have had on. I have that in white. That would be perfect also. Just like a seamless white bodysuit or white tank, whatever you want. Um, so you could do your own take on the outfit, but I'm going to keep this. I like it. So this is our solid outfit number three. All right, girls, next outfit. Is it four? I'm not sure. I think it's four. Nah. All right, well, either way, here is the finished look. Very simple. Now, this is not zipped. That's because no one is home with me and I cannot zip it on my own. So just be aware of that. These are both tweed pieces. These are both tweed pieces from Abercrombie and you can mix and match. So they've got the top, the skirt, and then the blazer. Like you could get all three in this, all three in this, all three in green. I actually really want to get the plaid score. I think I'm going to because I feel like having the set on would be super cute or I could get the black top, but I feel like just the plaid set would be the cutest outfit. I kept the Sam Edelman ones on. I'm like 99% sure I'm just keeping these. I'm just going to return the Abercrombie ones now and not even go for the size down. There's absolutely no reason that I need both pairs and I feel like I'm gonna have more fun with these and I'm gonna like these better. So that's what I have taken from doing this. Oh, and then I just feel like you gotta have, like this outfit is just complete with some black sunglasses and these are like $8 from Amazon. 
sunglasses aren't something I splurge on. I'll usually have like one more expensive pair at a time, um, but I tend to break them or leave them places. So yeah, how cute is this? And like I said, I'll link the top and bottom and then you can mix and match like if you wanna get the set or however you wanna do it. But I just think the tweed set is very cute. And of course add the blazer if you want that layer. All right, this is going to be the last outfit. We're going to play around with this a little bit. So I put on my brown straight jeans um, from Abercrombie and I put on one of each shoe because I wanted you to see the difference. So with a little bit of a longer jean on, it looks better with the Sam Edelman ones just because the tongue part sits lower. So just so you can kind of see that difference. And then I wanted to do just like a neutral mock neck. So I could obviously tuck this in or you could do a bodysuit. But I really, I've been trying to find like a mock neck crop, which I saw in Abercrombie, they have a mock neck and they make it look like a crop, but it's just the way that the girl is wearing it. So I kind of feel like if I could fold it up, somehow get it to tuck into my bra or something like that, it would be cute. But this is kind of the look I was thinking. I like brown and black together and I feel like this can definitely work, but I have to 100% say, the Sam Edelman ones. Also with the brown on the sandal, they look so much better too. So just to give you an idea of something a little bit different. Okay girls, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked styling my black loafers with me. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you soon. Bye.